Hey Heart, my name is Crystal Whitehead with Digital Velocity and SEO and um, you were recently in contact with Amanda and so um, about this this custom video for your website and so as promised here is the custom screencast for Sergeant Hart's barbecue sauce. In this video today we're going to cover three key tips that you can begin implementing today to start seeing a major boost in monthly clients and selling more sauce right which is what we want and so um if by the end of this video you like what you've seen and you like what you've heard and you can see that we've got some tricks up our sleeve that can really help you to boost your ranking in google and bring in more clients on a monthly basis then please feel free to reach out to us if not no harm no foul that's totally fine please still feel free to take these tips and begin implementing them today to see a um, to see you rank above your competition and beat out the competitors in your area. So let's go ahead and jump in. The three key tips I want to cover have to do with content, citations, and backlinks. Now, when I'm talking about content, I'm, by the way, this sandwich looks phenomenal. <laughs> it makes me hungry. Um, but when I'm talking about content, I'm talking about everything on the front page on the front page here. And that includes the words, but it also includes the pictures and what's behind the pictures and what the pictures are saved as. And when I talk about what the pictures are saved as, when I right click right here on this picture of the barbecue sauce bottle and I put save image as, Google picks up on this right here. This, uh, the title that you guys have saved this picture under, Google picks up on it. And so one uh, very, uh, practical suggestion that I would give is that you go through and just write and just save all of these pictures as a keyword and key term so that you can begin optimizing for those keywords that potential clients are using when searching for the type of product that you have to offer. Now when talking about the words on the side of content, Google likes to see between upwards of anywhere between a thousand to fifteen hundred words and depending on the competition I suggest more words but just at a basic level Google likes to see around a thousand to fifteen hundred words that amount of content allows for your potential clients to see what it is you do the products you offer and it allows them to um, see your your business information pretty clearly right and so we also want to make sure with content that we are optimizing on keywords. That's going to be something that you hear me mention quite often because I think keywords are super important. And I also think a lot of business owners and even many web design companies miss out on how important it is to really uh, optimize on powerful keywords. I almost see it as like a magnet that it's, that, uh, um, that attracts potential clients to your business, right? And so if I look over here, I wanted to see um, your, you know, your competitor's site. I pulled up a barbecue sauce, it's George's Sauces. And I just wanted to look through their site and look at their content. So one very practical way to do this is just to kind of scan the site like this. Just going to scan the site here and I'm going to right click again, copy paste. I'm going to go over here to a word counter that I use. I'm going to clear this here and we're going to see how many words are on your front page. So currently you have 256, right? Now let's see what George's Sauces has. And like I said, if there is a company that's ranking higher in Google, we want to see what are the specific things they are doing, right, to bring in those, those customers. And so first thing I check is the word count. So we see you've got 256 right there. So I'm going to clear that. And they've got 404, right? So if you threw up a thousand words on your front page and you optimized on keywords, you could beat out George's barbecue sauce in content and so that's a very practical thing the second uh, the second thing i would like to talk about is something called citations now before george 
before I clicked on that website for George's barbecue sauce, I went into Google and I typed in buy specialty barbecue sauce. Now the first thing that pops up, of course, um, is the Google map pack here. And I'm going to use this as an example, um, even though public supermarket is not, they don't specialize in barbecue sauce, but I'm going to use them as an example when talking about citations. A citation is your business information, right? Your business phone number and your business address listed across multiple online directories. So Google is a directory, Yelp is a directory, Yellow Pages is a directory. And here's why this is important. If I click on Publix, this, what pulls up right here is called a GMB, Google My Business. And this is important, the more citations you have, the more places where your business information is listed on these online directories, the, the higher up in the, G, um, in the Google Map Pack you will be. And so a practical thing here with, with Google, I look at Google as a popularity contest and less as a search engine. So when I'm, we're talking about boosting your, your website and your business, we want to look at Google as a popularity contest. And so it's the same thing with content. It's the same thing with citations. If we're beating out our competition, the first thing we want to make sure is that we've got more content. And then we want to make sure we've got more citations. The way we check citations so that we can be accurate in our numbers is a local tool that I use called WhiteSpark. This will, I put in, uh, I put in George's barbecue sauce to see, or George's sauce rather, to see how many citations they had. And I can see that they've got 47 citations. And not only can I see how many they have, but I can see where specifically they are. And so what we would do is we would go in and get you in the same directories and more. And I can see specifically in each of these directories how many times they their information is cited. So in YouTube, one, and Facebook, three times. And so this allows us to be very accurate and to really uh, analyze the competition for the sake of knowing how to strategically compete with them to bring in those extra clients per month. The third and final thing I would like to cover with you, Hart, is something called backlinks. Now we use a tool for a we use a tool called AREFs when I'm talking about backlinks because of the accuracy and it allows us to see exactly where you are in your authority with Google specifically. And so I want us to see backlinks as your site, your your website, your business linking up with a nor another authoritative site and them sharing their authority and power with you or them backlinking to you. And you may also have heard of the term link juice. So if I say, oh, this website or this business could use some link juice, I'm talking about, in essence, backlinks. I see right here that you've got 20, for, I mean, 20 referring domains giving you 46 backlinks. And that is resulting in your authority score right now being eight with Google and your URL strength score being 18. Now again, we wanna do some comparison, right? And so for George's, I put them in here as well. And I saw that they have 80 referring domains giving them 303 backlinks, which is why their authority score in Google is higher. And I can also see what keywords they are currently optimizing on. When, if you remember earlier, I talked about saving the pictures as something, as a keyword that attracts that, that has a, a high search volume with potential clients. And I can go through here and see specifically what keywords George's Barbecue is optimizing on. And then we will grab those, especially the easy ones that will not take long to rank for. And that will be a huge help to your business. Well, Hart, that is all I have for you. Um, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like, if you would like any help with anything you've seen here, or you've got more questions, please feel free to reach out to us. And we look forward to talking to you soon. All right, bye bye.